Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to have a very important discussion about Fitbit trackers and why you shouldn't just go out and buy one. Okay, so welcome back to the channel. Now, on this channel, we do a lot of tech reviews. We do things like fitness trackers, mobile phones, computer gadgets, home automation, all that kind of thing. Now, over the last year or so, I've had a lot of feedback, especially about Fitbit devices. In fact, they've been some of the more popular videos on the channel. A lot of people have having problems with them, with synchronization or needing to uh, reset them or wipe them so they can start again because of issues they've been having. Now, I've always thought this is just one of those things that happens because you get lots of devices with lots of different software and inevitably there are gonna be problems. But this isn't the case. And this is something which has just dawned on me very recently. Uh, I actually was reading through a, a, a thread and somebody said that there is actually a list of compatible devices with these Fitbit trackers. So I strongly suggest before you go out and buy a Fitbit tracker, and especially coming up to Christmas 2018 when the new Fitbit Charge 3 is gonna be launched, which I would imagine is gonna be a hot seller this Christmas, Go to the site, now it's www.fitbit.com forward slash devices. I'll put a link in the description below so you can click on it. But go there, you can select your operating system of your device, you can select the manufacturer, and there's a drop down list which will tell you which devices are actually certified or have been tested to work with Fitbit trackers. Now, I was surprised, I thought that pretty much all modern devices, regardless of uh, manufacturer, because they're based on Bluetooth, it would just work, but that certainly isn't the case. And judging by the amount of feedback I get from some of my help videos on how to use these trackers, then there is definitely a problem with some devices. So I would strongly suggest before you go and make a purchase, go to the website www.fitbit.com forward slash devices and check your device is compatible with the Fitbit tracker and the Fitbit software. Otherwise, you may experience problems and if you're buying this as a gift for someone, the last thing you wanna do is for them to have problems and to be phoning you on Christmas Day or Boxing Day asking how the heck they can set it up. Hopefully this video has been uh, useful for you and informative. If it has, smash that like button. Um, if you've got any comments, sit them in the comments section below. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And this has been a early warning for Christmas 2018. Thanks for watching.